buoyancy and stability initially we will try to understand the definition of the buoyancy and how it works you can see two picture here the left one and the right one so um, we all know buoyancy is kind of upward force so let's say um, we have a just a tank like this and it is completely filled with water so there is no space it's nothing so it's completely filled with water now if we actually let's say we have a solid block like this okay so if we actually want to put this solid block here so you already know it is completely full there is no space so then how you can put that what actually happened in real life if it is the case if you put it here so let's say initially if you put it here so maybe it will go so this is the the solid block so what it will do it will just displace some displace some water out of the container see the two animation here for this one you have this system when you're putting this circle solid circle here you can see it's just displacing some water and the same thing is happening for this one you can see now yes yeah, some some water is just going to the other container so Archimedes gave us a nice principle when you can see we're putting this solid object here as I said it's displacing some water that means if we actually want to put it here we must need to empty that amount of spaces and it will it will displace an equal amount of water so let's say if we know the the volume of this so when we just putting this solid block into this water tank it is displacing some water so I'm telling again the volume of this the volume of this water block it will be just it will displace an equal amount of water so that means the water the water displaced okay it will be just equal to the volume of this uh, you know the solid objects so now when this body a foreign body let's say this foreign body when it emerged into the water tank fluid exert a a force on it a upward force and this upward force it actually helps to lift that object so we all know um, sometimes you see in real life there there should be some heavy objects and we cannot lift it but if you just put that in into water then you can just easily lift it because it it feels more lighter and weightless in water that means definitely something is happening that is actually the water the fluid that exerts an upward force on the immersed body so when you just immerse an object to the fluid fluid exerts an upward force and this upward force this is called the buoyant force this buoyant force is see here the definition the upward force that a fluid exerts on the, the body immersed on it so we'll now um, try to understand and uh, the magnitude of this force so we have got uh, the understanding here the buoyant force it is actually the upward force it is the upward force and it is applied by the water on the immersed body you know and it is definitely it is always applied by the water okay on the immersed body so now for better understanding what's the magnitude of this let's say we have immersed a a you know plate like this a just the arbitrary shape and the area is a uh, this is the free surface all right so um, the height we have got two things this is the upper surface and this is the the lower surface but the upper surface this height is s and this height it is h so actually the bonds buoyancy is uh, the buoyant force this is actually uh, you know increases due to the pressure depth so when uh, you all know this is free surface so if we go down pressure will increase and if we go up then pressure will decrease so when we'll 
you know the the bind force this is actually the it happens due to the increase of the pressure with the depth depth of the fluid so we'll try to understand here so up to this the, for this height we know the pressure we know the pressure it will be you know rho g and s here height is s so we are not telling it is height. so in this distance it is given s so rho g s and you know we know for the for the bottom surface that that means here up to this all like s and height sorry here for the bottom surface okay the pressure it will be we can write rho g you know s plus height that means if we consider up to this so then we need to take all this pressure all this height sorry so this is actually the you know the gas pressure on the top and bottom surface of the plate right now if we actually want to calculate the hydrostatic force we know force equal pressure into area so for this upper surface the hydrostatic force applying we can say okay this pressure into area you see rho g s into area and for the bottom surface again rho g this height into area and now the difference you know the the difference between these two forces the upward force and the downward force so it is actually here so some force is applying and helping to lift this you know this arbitrary shape so this is actually the force here and the difference between these two force is you can see here we can say the the bottom force the bottom force is rho g s plus h is a minus the up out force is rho g s a so in other word we can say rho g s a plus rho g h is a minus rho g s a so we can eliminate this term and it will be rho g h is a so this is actually the the bound force so what we can see guys this force actually helping this arbitrary object you know and it is putting some upward force always you can see this downward force it is higher than this um, you know this um, downward force so here this is actually the bound force in other words you can say this bound force acting on this plate it will be the weight of the liquid displaced so when it is a completely full you put it here so definitely it displays some water so it will be actually the equal of the you know this is if I say this is the weight okay weight of the liquid whose volume is equal to the volume of the plate so we can conclude this that the point force acting on the plane it is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the plate so bind force um, j I can just write it down here the bind force it is actually equal to the weight okay so it is actually weight of the liquid displaced okay so that's actually the bind force and we will um, discuss a bit details during the lecture